Hey guys, alright, so we're gonna go over uh, Fat Kids Paladin build. Now, uh, I am a Devotion Paladin. Um, with the Devotion, you're technically a healer. I build myself very defensively, and uh, this allows me to be a tank and a healer all together. Um, we're gonna go through each step of the process. We're gonna go through all of my gear, all my stats. I'm gonna point everything out to you. Um, I hope you guys uh, learn a bit from it, and I hope it teaches you a little bit about your own character. Uh, just remember that when you're building a character, it all comes down to stat points. It's not so much, uh, you, know, you get a lot of people who are like, oh, but 4,000 power. What does 4,000 power mean? 4,000 power is 10% bonus damage. That's what it means. That's it. Um, you're looking for stats. You're looking for very specific numbers. Um, <clears throat> as far as defense goes, if you're going to be a tank, if you're going to be tanky, you want to get your damage resistance up. Your damage resistance is going to be key, and that's one of the things I'm working for here. Once I get enough damage resistance, uh, and then I focus on deflect. Deflect is supposed to be bonus for me. Um, there are builds out there that are meant to be deflect heavy. Uh, this is not one of them. Uh, so we're going to go through, like I said, each enchantment, each piece of gear, each uh, little bit along the way. Um, I'm going to have this video both on my YouTube and on, on my website for the Mystic Paradox. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get involved here. Um, wow, really? <clears throat> okay. So uh, under here, underneath my stats, uh, so we see, you know, strength. I don't have anything here. Um... We're going to go ahead and go into Khan. Khan's going to give me bonus hit points and damage resistance. This is going to be very important to help uh, boost my uh, survivability to be a tank. Uh, we don't have anything, any extra points put into Dex. Well, it does give deflect chance and AoE damage resist. This isn't the build that I'm going for. Um, intelligence, recharge speed, and eh, it's not going to affect me. Uh, wisdom. Wisdom is very important. Um, this is going to give me more crit chance and then, of course, charisma. Um, this is because I'm trying to teeter my character. It's a, it's a balancing act here, guys. Um, so I'm pretty happy with the stats being like that. You'll see I had 150,000 hit points right now, unbuffed. Um, I'm using the prestige gear. This is the uh, PvP gear. I'm using uh, negation in my armor here. And I'm using, in all my defensive slots, I'm using gigantic enchantments. I find these are the best for what I'm trying to do. Um... I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, I'm wearing, of course, two Dragon Horde enchantments, two Quartermasters, a Fae Blessing, and a Timoras for farming. Um, I'm using the Terror, rank 12, for my weapon enhancement. There are other weapon enhancements out there that could possibly be better, but I picked mine up for 900,000, so you can't really beat that. Uh, we got, uh, let's see here, the shield, we got my boots, you know, again, I'm using the prestige set. Um, I'm using the earth set for my artifact weapon, artifact uh, equipment at the moment, and I'm using the Tiamat set for my neck belt and artifact set. Um, the earth set, when I stand still, I get 25% bonus armor, and the uh, Tiamat set increases my healing a little bit. Um, I'm using the ring of impenetrability here. This gives me two defensive slots. That's what I'm looking for. I currently have the Makos ring on because I'm looking for extra farming. Um, I'm using the new shirt and pants, the Greater Everfrost. Um, again, if it's an offensive enchantment slot, it's got a... Um, <clears throat> the uh, offensive has got demonics in them, and my defensive have gigantics. That's what I'm shooting for. Offensive has got demonics, defensive have gigantics. Uh, you'll see here I've got a bunch of artifacts. I always shoot for ones that give me hit points. Hit points is a very underused stat. I do have to use the TMAT's orb for the bonus, though. I'm thinking about changing that out. Um, so I do recommend the, the Heart of the White Dragon for everybody. The Heart of the White Dragon will increase everybody's survivability. Now, as we go through here, my, these are my powers. I'm using Aura of Courage, um, and I'm using Divine Judgment. Um, other than that, you have to fill your bar out to get down the list. Um, Bane, this is one of the abilities I normally use on my square button. I'm going to go ahead and equip that. I am currently have a weird setup at the moment because I've been doing Seeds of Neverwinter. Um, you'll see I have Aura of Truth active. I've got Oath Strike active. Um, Bond of Virtue is active. And uh, Cure Wounds right down here below. Um, <clears throat> the uh, Cure Wounds is my other one that I normally use. I currently have Weighted Strike equipped. And Shield of Faith. Shield of Faith is amazing. It's one of the best ultimates in the game. It's way underused. Um, it gives everybody 30% armor, uh, including yourself. It's, it's wonderful for uh, survivability. 
Uh, and Valvanimity here. This is key. Uh, they did change it in the recent DLC. You have to keep recasting it, so be on top of that. Um, but other than that, that's all the abilities I'm using right now. Uh, these other ones, I fill them in. I use them occasionally for fun. I change things up once in a while. But for the most part, uh, those are going to be our basic build, our basic sta uh, abilities. Now we're going to go through... Um, our feet points here, you'll see I put one point at the first column. Uh, we got three points into weapon mastery. We have three points into toughness. Um, we're going to go over here to the second column. Uh, we're going to put three points into wrathful strikes. And we're going to put uh, five points up here into light shield. Um, in the third column, we're not going to put any points. I don't like any of those. Um, and I didn't like any of the exemplars one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, over here in the last column, we're going to have two points into Steadfast. This is going to give us more defense um, and hit points, which is nice. Um, and then we're going to put three points into Force of Will. This means I get bonus critical from my Charisma also. Uh, very important for the defense offense build I'm going for. We're going to put five points down here in Gifts of Light. This means 10% more healing. And I'm going to put five points down here into Seraphim. Because I'm going to pull Threat, I'm going to get hit, I'm going to be a tank. Um, a Seraphim will proc a lot. Um, we're going to go uh, top tree here. We're going to do Bound by Light, more control. This is good for PvP. Um, I enjoy using uh, the Shining Beacon here. Again, I don't like to get my health that low, but if it happens, I want the bonus. Um, Flash of Light, uh, your encounter powers uh, will reduce everybody else's cooldown. Uh, I need have to do three of them over here because the next column I skip. I don't want no, neither of those. Um, I go with Beacon of Hope. Um, this is amazing when you go ahead and cast your abilities. Um, and Prism. Prism is key when you cast your uh, uh, daily and it procs and it starts healing everybody. It, it's all for bounce around heals. Peering fire and fire, fire, I went with this for bonus DPS. Uh, you hit five times, you want to keep track. One, two, three, four, five. Cast uh, one of your encounter powers and then attack again. Um, and then Vengeful Judge, the most amazing part. This is Bond of Virtue and Vengeful Judge proc together. Um, a lot of people try to come down here and they like to do the... Uh, or uh, or gifts right here. Uh, I'm not a big fan. You have to stay within 30 feet. They have to stay within 30 feet of you. And if they walk out of it, they lose the buff. Um, it's not as beneficial as it looks. Now we're going to just go through here on the boons. I'm not going to go through each one. I'm going to show you a picture of what they look like. You can pick the same ones. Um, there's only really one buff in here that I really care about. And that's from Maze Engine, which is at the bottom of the list. Um, other than that, um, like I said, with the actual encounter powers... Uh, Vengeful Judge and Bond of Virtue. Bond of Virtue procs every roughly 0.5 seconds. This gives it a chance to give you Vengeful Judge, which will give you your Divinity back. You're also going to use your Divinity R1 to increase your damage by 35%, and it will also uh, heal everybody around you. These uh, these are all... Oh, man. And Vengeful Judge just makes pulls it all together. Makes your R1 so important. Um, it also reduces all your cooldown, which will, is really important now that you have to cast uh, Valvanimity over and over again. Um, so you want to occasionally between vow cast, you'll hit the uh, divinity button R1, and then you'll cast your vow again. You'll make sure you use your divinity to keep your bond of virtue up. If your bond of virtue ever gets turned off from a stun or a daze, um, then you're gonna go ahead and kick that on. This is the one I'm talking about here uh, for Maze Engine. Um, it uh, bonus heals, man. When you heal somebody, it gives a chance to heal everybody else for 20,000. It's absolutely awesome. So we're going to go under Companions. Uh, Bonding Runestones, rank 12. These are very important to the character. Um, you're going to get some great stats. Now, I don't have my rings that I'm looking for. I want defensive rings. As a matter of fact, I want the Greater Austerian Ring of Stein. I use the uh, Wisp here because it has a, a defensive slot and two offensive slots. Um, and then for my other pets, I'm using... Uh, the Energon, this is going to give me bonus hit points, more survivability, absolutely amazing. I'm currently using the Enrines of Belial. Uh, I'm not a big fan. I'm probably going to change it. I'm using uh, my chicken here. It was gathered by a friend, uh, Ruby, um, so I named it after her. Um, this is amazing for tanking. And then I'm using the Siege Master. Siege Master is pretty cool, um, except for, again, I'm not really looking for the t extra DPS. I'm trying to switch over to tank. I'm probably going to put something on here like a Rust Monster. Um, I'm considering a Dread Warrior for extra threat. I haven't fully decided. Now we're going to go over here to Mounts. Under Mounts, uh, these are some really important insignia patterns. Uh, you'll see we have Companions or Protectors Camaraderie. 
Uh, this is going to increase your defense and your offense. We've got the uh, Gladiator's Guile. you got to have that for the bonus movement. Um, it gets you out of a lot of trouble. Um, I use uh, Survivor's Blessing because I do have Deflect, and when it does happen, that little extra heal can be beneficial, mostly in PvP. Um, and then we have Magistrate's uh, Patience here. Because everything I do causes damage and everything I do causes a heal, Magistrate's Patience is amazing for my, my build. Um, and then I have Wanderer's Fortune on currently. Uh, a friend of me, mine talked me into it to give it a try, uh, so I've been playing with it. Uh, free stuff is free stuff, but it's not really free since I had to pay so much for the mount. Um, so now we're just going to show some quick uh, running through a dungeon. This is all my burning guidance, my healing warmth. Uh, this is literally what my screen looks like anytime I'm in a dungeon with anybody. Um, <coughs> I often don't get to see the ads. I don't get to see what's going on. It's uh, quite annoying, actually. I wish I could turn it off. Um, they won't let it be a feature so far. Um, as soon as the ads gather up, the more people I have in a group, um, you'll see suddenly it just starts procking over and over and over and over and over. Um, I, they throw out my ultimates. Um, causes the procking more often. Uh, this is keeping everybody healed and causing damage. Um, in some tight rooms like this, uh, it gets quite annoying, as you can see. Like, I don't get to see anything. So. Again, I, I really love the build. I love the fact that I get the extra damage out of it. Um, using healing warrant, burning items, and uh, all of the way it's set up. Um, but I am not a huge fan um, of not being able to see everything. I love to turn that stuff on. It also bleeds over into everybody else's screen. So right now, everybody in the dungeon is currently seeing Burning Guidance and Healing Warm from me bleed over into theirs because it's happening too often on my screen. Um, now, when you come to tank Orcus as a healer, you want to start off with your Bane. You're going to turn your leader's bell so your pet's procked up companion's camaraderie. You run in. Now, I've been standing here for a second. Uh, my Earth Set has kicked down. If you look at the top buff, it's a little triangle. Uh, level 1 Earth Set. It goes up to level 2. Uh, every time this keeps going up with my Companions Camaraderie, I'm going to go ahead and stay alive. I keep procking my Vow my of Anonymity to keep me healed. Uh, that's the build, guys. Take it easy.